Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to add cinematic laugh bars on your CupCut PC video. So let's get started. So here we are, and from here, we're gonna export my material first for this example. So I'll be using this one. And now to add a cinematic laugh bar, we have two options. So we can go here into FX, and then right here on the lens, then we can see the black bars right here, the cinema effect right here. And when you add this into your video, it would look like this. So when you play it in the beginning, right here, as you can see, there would be a black bar that would appear into the uh, into the video right here until the end. And in the end, as it approaches the end, it would automatically go here, as you can see right here. Yeah. So when it reaches the end, it doesn't have any transition compared to this one where it has a uh, movement right here. But you have this option, so if you don't want this right here and you think this is too much of a cut right here, then you can create your own block bar. So you can do that by simply pressing this right here. You're gonna go into media and then go into library and go for this black right here, black screen, and then you wanna drag this into your timeline right here just like so and then you want to expand this the black right here the black screen right here as you can see this is only for this generation so you can just duplicate this if you want it to be longer and longer than that just like that and then from here we're gonna go and right here we're just gonna go and set the black bar right here so yeah that's just like that and then you can duplicate this right here. So I just deleted the one so that we can duplicate it just after we are finished with setting up our black bars. And then right here, let's just drag this right here at the upper black bar right here. So just like that, you now have your own custom black bar right here and you can edit it however you want. So how small you want it to be. And you can make it longer by just duplicating it. Hold your Alt key and then drag it right here just like this one. And you can do it like this. And if you think that this is already long enough for you, then you can just compound it right here. Click, uh, select all of it and then right click. Then you can create compound clip and you right click, create compound clip right there. If you're satisfied with that one right there, or if not, then you can also go for right here. So. You can also animate it if you'd want. So let's just go back. And then from here, we're going to go right here. We're going to go for a scale. I mean the position right here, the position of this clip right here. You can also animate it if you'd want. This right here. Let's go and go to the beginning and then animate it. Add a keyframe and then go to the end and then animate it by going here. I mean, yeah, this should be the reverse. So you want to go here into the position. This would be the end point and go to the beginning to set the midpoint of your transition. Right here, it would be right here, right here where the black bar isn't visible. And as it reaches it right here, it should be visible. So when you play it right here, it will look like this right here. Well, as you can see, oh, it doesn't have any keyframes. So let's add one right here. So let's add a keyframe right there and make this black bar right here make this black bar right here let's just bring it down and have a difficulties right here i'm just going to go and set uh set the value to a lower one so that we can see it right here. so now you can do it like this one right there and now you can see that it's now being animated like this but if you find this too slow then you can just go and set the keyframe right here to a shorter duration maybe that one and you can see that it's going faster now and yeah you can just do it like that if you'd want this animation at the beginning and then you can just duplicate it for the lower part and from here i'm just gonna go and set b keyframe like here this this will be the end point and that when it grows in the beginning it will should be not should be hidden right here and when we play it we now have this transition right here and you can also add this to the end. So yeah, that is basically it. Thank you for watching.